Hello, my name is Sam Ord. I'm an ICU specialist at Nepean Hospital in Sydney, and this will be a short tutorial on doing lung ultrasound in COVID patients. Uh, I'm going to use a simulator here to demonstrate some of the pathology that we'd see, and this simulator is a lung phantom developed by CAE Healthcare, and it's a right uh, hemithorax, uh, and you have normal pathology at the top of the lung, and as you progress down through the lung, you start to see pathology. So I start off with a linear ultrasound probe. I make sure that the left side of the screen is pointing towards the head of the patient. I'm going to choose the lung preset. I have it orientated so that it's perpendicular to the ribs. I'm going to try and make sure that the gain is sort of producing a homogeneous appearance. And I have the depth optimized to about four or five centimeters. And here's the first sign of things, which is uh, meant to sort of demonstrate normal pathology. So what we can see here is that we have a rib and we've got the acoustic shadowing behind it from the rib uh, or the rib shadow. And here we've got the pleura sitting uh, uh, just sort of the interface between the soft tissue and the lung itself. And this lung is the dirty shadow behind that may have A lines across it, which are that sort of normal appearance. And we can see this lung sliding as the patient's taking the breath. And that's called the lung sliding sign. And the, uh, the pleura are nice and thin and have this sort of regular movement. As we move down, we're going to start to see sort of the original sort of as the disease starts to progress and this sort of mild appearance uh, initially of thickened, irregular pleural lines. And they get worse and worse as the disease progresses. And here, as we sort of start pulling that probe further down towards the bottom of the lung, you can see that we can get potentially sort of this irregular pleural line. We get this thickening that can occur, so it becomes much more echogenic. And you might be able to see sort of small uh, sort of sub pleural. Uh, uh, fluid collections that could potentially come in and maybe that uh, sliding sign isn't quite as uh, quite as pronounced. And the last thing is is just seeing these little bee lines that are starting to come down this comet tail artifact and we'll see more about that when we look with the abdominal probe and again as you start progressing down we see that this disease process looks worse and worse and finally as you start to come down to the bottom part of the lungs we'll start to see some uh, sort of consolidation and that's again better seen with uh, one of the other, other curvilinear probes. So we'll probably just try and just do one more glance at all of that so we can progress through what looks like normal and then progressively more abnormal. So start at the top of the lung phantom, normal lung pleura, thin, nice sliding sign, sort of a uh, sort of homogeneous, sort of dirty shadow of the lung below that, which should have a B line, which would have A lines in it. Here we can see a sort of mild disease, increasingly irregular, few B lines coming down, and then more severe as we get that uh, horrible sort of thickening and subpleural collections of the, the pleura, which is seen very nicely with this linear ultrasound probe. Okay, so after that, now we're going to move on and use the, uh, use the abdominal probe. You can also use the echo probe. I'll use the abdominal probe, the curvilinear one in this. I'm going to make sure that I've got what's on the left side of the screen is pointing towards the patient's head. And again, it's doing it in a, a perpendicular pattern to the, to the lungs. And I'll work from the top, working my way down. I'm going to use the lung presets to try and use the artifacts that are generated uh, to their sort of full extent. So I'm going to, the, the, lung, uh, the lung presets helps remove the, um, the artifact uh, that might not work well. And so here we go that we'll start off in the normal lung parenchyma and up in between these two ribs, you can see a sort of homogeneous dirty shadow that stretches down. As we start to progress further down, we start to see B lines coming through. So I'm particularly interested in the parenchyma here that's coming through. So we're looking at those, um, looking at those B lines, which you can see a variety of patterns in COVID patients, and that can be focal, it can be multifocal, and as things get worse and worse, it can become uh, confluent. You know, the, the entire screen seems to be filled up with B lines. And you'll see those B lines, they cross over the A lines, they stretch from the pleura right the way down to the bottom of the screen. And as things get worse, you're gonna to start to see consolidation. So atelectasis, as well as consolidation, appears as you get to the bottom. So the thickened pleura, subpleural collections, we're going to see this consolidation, which can be a variety of patterns you'll see that can be involving both like whole lobes, parts of lobes, uh, some a translobular, and you can see some of those air bronchograms that occasionally come in there. So we might have a look at some of that again. Again, and we'll sort of start from the top, work our way down. So we see that normal lung pattern 
with that thin pleura A lines homogeneous pattern. As we progress further down, the B lines start to come in. Those B lines overlap the A lines, extend all the way down. As the disease get worse, you can see more and more A lines. And then at the bottom part of the lungs, you often see big collections of atelectasis, with occasional air bronchograms in there, mixed in with some patterns of some B lines that can come in there. But what we often see is we, we don't see a lot of pleural effusions that are coming in there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that was clear. Uh, and uh, it was great to use the CAE Lung Phantom created by those guys, in, including sort of designers like Jay and some of the other engineers there. I think they've done an amazing job creating this Lung Phantom. So I hope that was useful. Uh, best of luck. Thank you.